Hello Mayors, Smith here with another SimCity Build It tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your factories for maximum production. As you already know, factories produce raw material that is used to craft items in the commercial shops. But the material that the factories produce vary in production. For example, some material like wood takes three minutes to produce, while textile takes three hours. So, since we're going to be talking about various raw material, we are going to file them all under four categories ranked by production time. Levels 1, 2, 3, and 4. Because SimCity Build It is a casual game that was designed to be played casually, it's very important to optimize your production while in and out of the game. So, we're going to go through a typical day. When you open up the game for the day, go ahead and produce your level 1 material. That's metal, wood, and plastic. Material that is level 1, you can craft while in the game and you don't have to worry about producing these while you're offline. I believe that metal takes 1 minute to produce, wood takes 3 minutes like we established earlier, and plastic takes uh, 8 or 9 minutes, I think it's 9, maybe 8, but all of these items can be ready in under 10 minutes. Now, the suggested ratio for production for these that I do is for every two slots of metal, produce one slot of wood and plastic. The reason I do this is because most recipes in the commercial shops that call for wood or plastic also call for metal, so you'll need twice as much to be effective and keep your stores producing. Material in the level two category are seeds and minerals. And their production times are 20 minutes for the seeds and 30 minutes for the minerals. Put these into production while you're in the game. That way, if you find yourself still in the game 30 minutes later, you've got material ready to go. If not, it'll be there ready for you to collect in your next session. Before you close the game, I'd make sure that you occupy three to four factories with level two material, and maybe five or six, depending on how much material you think you may need in the future. And there are more recipes that use seed versus mineral, so I make slightly more seed. Level 3 material consists of chemicals and textiles. These are items that are used at a very high frequency, and if you don't have them readily available, it can throw you completely off your game because of how long it takes to produce. And it takes two hours for chemicals and three hours for the textiles. Now it's a good rule of thumb to always keep these into production. When you collect some, replace those empty slots with the chemicals and the textiles. These are also good items to buy in the Global Trade Headquarters. So if you come across some, it wouldn't be a bad idea to snatch them up. Lastly, we have the level 4 items. Sugar, glass, animal feed, and electrical components. Now I believe it takes four hours for sugar, five hours for glass, six hours for animal feed, and seven hours for electrical components. That is crazy, seven hours. So these items take between four to seven hours to produce, and my rule of thumb is to cram your factories full of these before you go to bed or whenever you're gonna be offline for a long period of time. I also find that some of these items can be easily found in the Global Trade Headquarters. I typically see a lot of sugar and glass, so I don't even waste production slots producing these. Yes, that's right, I hardly ever produce sugar and glass, especially sugar. As you can see here, it is plentiful in the Global Trade Headquarters. Every time I reload, I can find a bundle of sugar and sometimes you'll find glass. Okay. I hope that that helps you optimize your factory production so that you can always have material available to craft in your shops. Also subscribe and turn on notifications because I will be releasing another video like this, but this one will be about commercial shops and how to optimize those too. So that's all for this video. Peace out.